All right, guys. Today we got a uh, a Marlin 781 bolt action rifle. It shoots 22 long rifle, 22 short, and 22 long. It's tube fed, which it allows it to feed all those different cartridges. Um, this one was made in 1976. So as you can see, the finish on the metal here is really lacking. A little beat up, a little rusty. Also the stock has been spray painted black. So what we're going to do here today is uh, restore or at least refinish this old Marlin that I picked up for $75. So not only is the finish kind of in poor shape, we've got at least one mechanical issue to work out here. Let me show this to you. <clears throat> so when the rifle is cocked and the bolt is closed and we put it on safe here, we can't pull the trigger which is good, but and the trigger did move enough that when I release the safety the bolt will drop the pin so watch this here that's not good that's unsafe so we'll be taking care of that issue as well in this process all right okay so we're going to work on the stock first, so the first thing we're going to do is disassemble the gun. We want to, uh, I guess, take out the bolt first. Pull it all the way back, make sure it's on fire. Clear, of course. Hold the trigger back. And then just rock the bolt back out. Set that aside. <clears throat> And then we will take these two screws out here for the trigger guard. And then our main takedown screw up here, which I had already loosened a little bit. Okay, and that's that. Um, you would also take the buttstock off. As you can see here, there's not much left of the screws in mine, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. So now we've got the stock free of all the other parts. We can get to uh, cleaning and stripping this paint. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do with the stock here <coughs> is just put it in the bathtub with some very hot water and uh, give it a good scrub down as best as I can to get all the oils and grease off the surface of the stock and to just warm up the wood so that the stripper will take effect and not have anything in its way. Okay, we are now ready to uh, start stripping the stock. I'm going to try this citrus strip. It's safe to use indoors, it says here. It's pretty cold outside. Um, I'm going to wear gloves for safety and all that. So, yeah, here we go. 
Come on, cat, get out of the way. <laughs> oh, you passed. You passed. Okay. Let me shake this up really good. Gonna squeeze some out onto a rag and start wiping it on. All right, we're just gonna let that sit there on that side for about 45 minutes, as the label on the stripper says. So we'll be back and see how that works on that side. Okay, it's only been about 10 minutes, but the stripper's drying really fast and it is loosening up the paint. So we're gonna go ahead and wipe off what we can now and then apply another coat. Okay, slowly but surely we can see that beautiful wood grain coming out of there. So we'll just be uh, doing some more scrubbing for now. Alright, and we're just going to repeat the process with the other side as many times as it takes to get the paint off. Okay, here we have the stock after uh, three applications of the uh, citrus strip. And we just let those sit on there for a while and then <clears throat> scrubbed off the paint and the stripper with a rag three times over until it looked about like this. Much better. It's all fairly straightforward. Um, as far as getting the paint out of this pressed checkering here. That's probably the trickiest part. <clears throat> what I did was just use a uh, stiff bristled nylon brush <clears throat> and just the stripper at first. Scrubbed in there real hard, you know, like that. And then once it was mostly out, I switched over to just some some regular gun cleaner. <clears throat> Stuff's probably not the best for wood, but it gets the gunk out quite well. So I just sprayed it on there. And uh, started scrubbing. And you can see the junk lifting out of there. All this crap. So after that, it's just time for a little sanding. We're gonna hit some of the rougher spots with some 150, like these here. Not sure what happened to the stock there, but 
<laughs> and then we'll go over the whole thing with some 220 just to smooth her out. Okay, so we're just hitting this with the 220 now all over everywhere, getting it smooth. Not going too deep into this, trying to leave what's left of that pattern as it is. So we're going to go over the whole stock here just lightly, not trying to change the shape. Just smoothing her out, always with the grain. If you keep your fingers this way, then you're not running finger grooves into your, into your stock. So keep your fingers perpendicular. Alright, now that she's all sanded smooth and even all over, <clears throat> we're going to have to rinse out all this extra sawdust that's in here from the sanding. So it's back to the bathtub and we'll give this a nice soak and rinse down in warm water. Get it all cleaned and ready for the oil. Alright, now that we have the stock all sanded and cleaned off, all free of dust, we're going to use some oiled linseed oil. This is my favorite finish for wood. It's what I use on all my hand tools, axes, shovels, everything like that. It's just a beautiful natural finish that you can keep adding to over time without having to refinish. It's, uh, it's the best way to keep wood protected and looking good. So with a nice clean rag here, we're going to pour some of this oil out and just start working it into all the surfaces, really polishing it in there. And we're going to be doing many layers of this, of course. <clears throat> Let the wood soak it in and then rub in another layer and almost almost buff it by rubbing it in here to give it that glossier look so we will do this and check back in after the first coat is done all right here she is after the first application of linseed oil as you can see brought the color and the grain out quite nicely. It's a beautiful piece of wood. So we're just going to repeat that process several times, letting it dry fairly thoroughly in between each. And that'll bring out the real glossy finish here. It'll be not quite as mad as this finish is when it's done. So we'll show you how that goes.